I'm going to demonstrate using Easel with two of our free resources. First, we're going to take a look at an activity from our So La Me bundle. After learning the song and the included activities, this Easel activity makes a good follow-up or assessment. You will know if a resource has already been prepared for use with Easel if you see this Easel activity on the listing. To open up the activity, click the green bar, and then you will see that it said there are two files here. The top file is a zip folder with the music activities. The second file is the easel activity. So you're going to click preview and assign and it opens automatically in easel. The first thing I want to draw your attention to over here are the zoom in and zoom out buttons. Usually the default setting zooms in pretty close and this could be a really good feature for students who have visual impairments It'd be a valuable tool. You can zoom in quite close using that and then scroll down. But many students will want to, to zoom out when they first open the activity. This will give them a view of the entire page. Now I want you to notice the tabs up in the top ribbon. The prepare tab is where you have the option of making changes to the activity. You might want to customize the directions or change the color or the font, or you might even want to add some additional answer boxes sometimes. Our activities are ready to assign. So let's go right over here to the view as student tab. This is where you will preview the activity. Once again, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is also a good way to demonstrate the activity for students, or you could even deliver this lesson as a whole class activity right from the student view tab while displaying it on your whiteboard. And here you see the lyrics and the students already know the song because they have learned it and sung it in class. So they are going to drag and drop the music elements to match the rhythm. There are four pages in this activity. We're on page one, so we're going to click to go to page two. And once again, we're going to match the rhythm. If a student makes a mistake, it's very easy to fix it. Just drag it out of the way and drag back up the correct answer. On this page, students are identifying pitches. They'll type the pitch name into the box below each note. And we're using abbreviations that you can see here. So students simply, oh, and by the way, I have my kids always turn on cap locks, and that makes it easy to type capital letters. So they simply click into the box and type the answer. Once again, if they make a mistake, you simply hit the back button and they can fix that. Same thing on the next page. This makes a really good follow up. Um, if you were doing this on a whiteboard, you might want students to sign it to you and then you type it in or have a student come up and type it in. It makes a good activity for a whole class. Now let's close out the preview as student view and we're going to look back up here. If you want to assign this to individual students, this assign tab is where you'll do that. You can assign it through Google Classroom or you can copy a link. You can post this link as an assignment using your school's LMS or send it by email. If you have more than one class, this is a good tip. If you have more than one class that are going to be doing this assignment and you're going to have them turning it in, you're going to want to generate another code because 
this will separate the responses by class. For instance, if you had a second grade A class, second grade B class, you could make even another second grade C class. Just make sure that you're on the right one. Let's see, we're going to assign this to the C class. We're going to click that code, hit assign, and look at your code. Right here, you see that code is embedded in the link. So you're sure that you have the correct one. So that's how you assign. Pretty simple. Let's take a look at the reports tab. This is where you would monitor students' work and their progress. You can even send comments back and forth or you can reassign the activity. You can allow students to resubmit. Now let's take a look at a different kind of activity. This free set of simple brass worksheets works the same way, but students will be using some of the easel digital tools to complete the assignment. So you'll click the green bar that says View to Files. The top file is the printable worksheet. The second is the easel file. So once again, click Preview and Assign. It opens automatically into Easel. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole page, just so you know what's on the whole page. And then let's go to the View as Student view to quickly preview the activity. Once again, we're going to zoom out a little bit. The first part of this is pretty simple. It has scrambled words for the instruments, and students simply type in the name of each instrument. The second part, we're going to scroll down so you can see the second part of this. Our directions are, using the highlighter tool, find and highlight each instrument and these other words that are in the puzzle. So this is the pen tool. This is the highlighter tool, and you have some options here. You can use the thin, the medium, or the thick. I like to do the thick and just highlight it. You also have several color options, and I like to allow the kids to change color. It makes it just a little more fun. So they're simply going to highlight the words that they find in the puzzle. And... Changing colors makes it more fun when they can turn in an activity. Whoops, and if they make a mistake, this is the eraser tool. Simply grab that eraser, click erase. Then you have to come back up here, click the highlight tool again, and the formatting goes right back to the last format it had. They simply go through and highlight all of the words that they can find in the puzzle. This is a crossword puzzle and so students have to read the directions down here and then type the answer into here. Number one across a group of musicians playing together is called an ensemble. Once again we're going to put on our cap locks and it makes it a little bit easier to type. If they make a mistake Simply hit the back button. If spelling is an issue, you might want to have a word bank on the board or somewhere where students can see that and help out with spelling. Now that we know what this activity is all about, let's come close out student view and come over here to assign the activity. Once again, you can assign it through Google Classroom or through the link. And if you have more than one class, generate another code for each class. That'll keep those separated for you. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can easily use Easel in your elementary music classroom. Best wishes.